I think that the way we usually think about that question to ourselves is, I am speaking to people who will go out on Monday morning and try to be Christians in the world. And so what I'm supposed to do is to equip them for faithful and even prophetic uh, living uh, out in their jobs and schools and wherever they happen to go on Monday. I think that's important, but I think that jumps over a step. Um, I don't think that we're a, um, a school training individual prophets. I think what we are doing in preaching is forming a prophetic community that it's first and foremost the life of the church that shines like a light in the world, uh, that is the salt uh, out in the, in the culture. And so a community that has learned uh, how to love each other, how to take care of the widows and orphans, whatever those might be in our, our midst, uh, has learned how to accept people that the culture doesn't accept, uh, to speak good news in a time when people speak despair, um, the community that lives that way together is the first task of forming uh, of the formational aspect of preaching. Then people who live in that kind of community cannot help but be um, uh, prophetic in their vocations and in their relationships and in their their neighborhoods. It's, it spills over into that. But I think that medial step of the church itself as the prophet before individuals are the, are the prophets. Now, there's another issue in your question, I think. Um, th- there is a, a very blurred line between the sermon that engages the public issue and the sermon that is merely politics. Um, and I think it's a very difficult line to make sharp Partly it depends upon tradition. In the African-American community when the, uh, in, in the South in the 60s when the political ramifications of the civil rights movement and the relationship to the gospel were crystal clear, it, it, it was difficult to tell the difference between a politically astute sermon and a uh, biblically astute sermon. They merged in a powerful and wonderful way, I, I think. I guess the measure is this, um, if a preacher never is surprised by the biblical witness in relationship to his or her own political views, then your God is probably too small and your Bible is too small. Uh, you're looking at the Bible as an endorsement of your, your political agenda. And if you never get more generous toward people that you think are wrong, if you never get more illumination on an issue about which you are sure you are right, if you never get forced to your knees in repentance over uh, a position you have taken, uh, you, you probably aren't engaging the scripture faithfully uh, on, this, uh, on these issues.